The name of this film is Dampier. First of all, let me tell you what it means. Vampires who kill humans are called Dampier. They are the enemies of vampires. That's why they hunt them. The film starts by showing a very desolate place in which a woman was getting sick. She was crying here and calling her husband's name. After which the woman's husband was shown, who was running fast in the jungle riding a horse because he was coming to his house this way. He was the lord of the night, also called a fighter warrior, very skilled at fighting, with seven wives. Three more women with his wife did not want the lord of the night to come to his wife. One of them felt that he is near the house and immediately said that he is coming. As soon as she said this, she started doing magic. As soon as her magic was complete, the blue light starts to rise all around the house and a cover is made there, making it impossible for him to enter. But then the Lord of the Night reached outside, during which the child is born. Unfortunately, his mother dies. One of them picks up the child in her hand, making the Lord of the Night angry, screaming loudly, and using his power. A dangerous red light starts coming out of him. The Lord of the Night attacks the women with his power, but she makes a cover again and saves her life. Now the Lord of the Night tells all three to give him his child. They reply that they cannot give it now. Until she grows up, they will keep it with them until he is not able to make his decision. Now this child is born because he was the son of the Lord of the Night, meaning like his father, he must also have magical powers, making him very powerful. After this, the scene shifts to some soldiers who had come to investigate a city in a bad state with corpses everywhere. They start their work to investigate reaching a building with piles of corpses. Suddenly an old man comes from behind and stands up, on which all of them point their guns, but the old man was very scared. He turns out to be a vampire and kills them all badly. Two friends are then shown going somewhere in a car, one of them calling himself Dampere, the main character of the story, a drunkard. They reach a village where the driver starts lecturing everyone, saying that there is a vampire in the area, a devil, and they are in danger. However, Dampere claims to be the enemy of vampires and assures them of safety. Dampere goes to a door, starts doing a strange reverse action, and confidently announces that the vampire is dead. Thereafter, they were making people believe he was Dampere to get money from them, but in reality, he was not Dampere. It was a fraudulent act. Dampere enjoys drinking a lot while being heard from inside the building. There, when that soldier was in the city, then half were present inside, while two were guarding outside. Now the outsiders heard the voice of a girl. She also starts coming towards them. Now as soon as a soldier comes close to her, it is found that she is not an ordinary girl, but a vampire. Who sees them? She takes out her long nails and cuts off one of her throat. After hearing her voice, the other soldiers also came out, and the solitaires start shooting at the girl. There was another vampire with her. Both of them were very dangerous. Although there were so many soldiers that are attacking them, but only these two vampires were not being controlled by anyone. And they kill four to five soldiers. They drink their blood. Now when she that vampire girl leaves, the head of Solider's group tells his commander that to kill these vampires, we have to call Dimpare. I know about Dimpare. Hearing this, the commander says, Have you gone mad? What nonsense are you talking? The head says, Sir, there are vampires. Didn't you see? We shot them blindly but it didn't affect them. So how will you be able to save us? Please listen to me and call that dim pair. I know her very well. Upon which the commander agreed. Had sent some soldiers to bring Dampier who was burying a girl's body. The soldiers come here and catch dim pair and her friend and bring them to the commander. The commander says to dim pair. I don't know who you are. So tell me. Hearing this, dim pair said, these vampires are nothing they don't exist. I just make people fool to take money from them. Upon which the head says, No, sir. He is Dempere, the one who hunts vampires. The proof of this that I have known him for a long time. He is always young and not getting old. Upon which the commander says, Okay, let's check this thing tonight. And now they put Dempere on the chair to guard tonight with the thought that if the vampire comes and kills him, but if he kills the vampire, then he will really be Dempere and even sitting outside at night. Dempere enjoys drinking a lot. He was heard from inside the building. There was the same vampire girl which confuses him. When he goes near her, she pull out his big teeth to drink his blood. As soon as she starts drinking his blood, she starts getting hurt. That's why she throws Dimpare away. The vampire girl says, Dimpare's blood is coming out of you. Tell me, who are you? By now Dimpare was very scared. He quickly starts running away from there, but then some vampires come and block his way. They start attacking him, but that was Dimpare. The vampires feel like his blood start make them burning. They burn to ashes and all of them die. 
Now we see the king of vampires, whose name was Gorka. He also had powers, with the help of which, he had the mind of all vampires in his control. He tells all the vampires that you couldn't fight that Dimpair. So come back, while order the vampire girl to stay there and keep an eye on Dimpair. The next morning the commander came out with his companions. To see what happened last night. He found the burnt corpses of the vampires. So he went straight to Dimpair. He asks, how did you kill all of them? Dimpair replies, that one of their vampire companions is also inside, who has become my friend. So now the commander with his team goes inside the building. His team was very scared. Some soliders leave the place as that is a dangerous place and commander don't want to put them in danger. Dampier also asked his friend to leave with the soldiers. After this, Dimpair started talking to that girl who was in Exa. And she told Dampier that I work for Galka. He can control my mind. But I am not happy with him because he makes me do wrong which I do not want to do. Dimpair asks him, What do you know about me? She says that you Dimpire are as dangerous as Lord of the Night. It is very difficult to kill them. And all the vampires are after you to kill you. Gorka is just like you enemy that's what he wants you to kill you. He knows that you are here. So now he will do anything to kill you. The commander's team was moving ahead from Jindal's path. Suddenly a soldier turns upside down. When they stopped, they realized that there was someone. And now as soon as they saw Gorka standing there, who suddenly attacks them, he burns some soldiers with a gesture and blows them away. While he took some of them with him, make them their slaves. Dimpire also starts getting sick. Because he realized that Gorka is around him. He also found out that Gorka has taken my friend and the rest of the soldiers with him. Dimpire tells the vampire girl that I have to save my friend somehow. Alexa says that I know where Gorka must have taken them. So now these people start getting ready to go there. Alexa covers her whole body and face well. Because of being a vampire, if the sun's light falls on her, she will burn. After that, the three of them, Dimpire, Commander, and Alexa start their journey in the car. As they traveled, it was too late for them. So they stop at one place and start resting. When Dimpire and the Commander were alone, the Commander tells him that this girl is a vampire. So I don't believe it. Alexa hears this from him. No matter how far anyone talked about her, she could hear. That's why she tells the commander that if I had to hurt you or kill you, I would have killed you ten times. Understood? So stay calm. Dimpire goes to the side and starts looking at his wounds, which start filling up on their own. Alexa comes to him. She tells him that you must be feeling weird looking at this. Now we see Commander and Dampier was discussing about the Solitors who are vampire now and slaves of Gorka. They are planning to deal with them. On which the Damper says that there is no problem. I have a solution to deal with them. He puts all the bullets on the table. Then he cuts his hand with a knife and takes out the blood. And started putting it on those bullets. It is said that now it is fine. As soon as I eat their bullets, all the vampires will burn and die. Alexa also wants to have that bullet for gun, but the commander hears this and starts misbehaving with her. On which Alexa got angry. The damper tells both of them that we have to start our journey again. So be calm. These people move forward very quickly and reach the city. In addition, everyone was also afraid of vampires. Alexa says that we will not pass through the population. Instead, we will go through the buildings. And now, as soon as she goes inside a building, Alexa feels as if someone is coming behind them. She says that I know everything. Gorka has sent his men behind us. Soon Gorka's men came in front of them, who was no one else but the commander's soldier. They moved forward to attack them. The commander fired a bullet and shot the vampire. The vampire burns and roasts. Obviously, the blood of the damper was on it. And then they burns all the vampires with the help of those bullets. The damper was very happy. He says, did you see my blood bullets worked? Along with that, a bullet was also shot on his leg. He sees that this bullet was fired by Alexa. He sees that his eyes are completely black. She is sad and tells him that I am not Alexa. In fact, Gorka is controlling my mind and making me do all this. The damper holds his gun and says that you are not his slave. And you can come out of his control. He had to say that then Alexa came out of control of Gorka. After a while, Alexa heard a girl screaming and calling for help. When she went to save the girl, two vampires attacked the girl. Alexa starts fighting with vampires due to which both vampires are killed. Then Gorka also came here. He tells Alexa that why are you betraying me? On which she says that I cannot be your slave. On which Gorka got angry and took her with him. The vampire and the commander start their journey again. The wound on the vampire's leg where the bullet was shot was completely healed. And now they reaches the place where Gorka was. Both started checking the whole building separately. But something started happening to the commander here. 
He starts missing his family and it was all Gorka's trick. He also started controlling the commander's mind. Taking advantage of the opportunity, he also imprisons the commander. As soon as the commander opens his eyes, he finds himself hanging from the chain, in front of which Alexa is also hanging. Then the commander's companion comes here, who had now become a vampire. He started hurting Alexa. He starts burning her with a fireball. He started suffering. The commander got angry. He tells his companion that I will not leave you. Leave her. Come here and deal with me. She starts pulling her chain, so that it breaks. Before that, he attacks again. Alexa pulls the chain and succeeds in breaking it. She then ties the vampire's neck with the chain. Then she goes to the other side and wraps the chain there. As she pulls hard, the vampire is killed there. Her condition was about to die. That's why the commander gives her his blood, with which she gets well, and thus they become friends. The dampier finally reaches Gorka while scouring the building. Seeing him, Gorka says, Come boy, I was waiting for you. And now he attacks the damper with his dangerous powers. First he picks him up and hits him. Then he started hitting him here and there. The vampire was not even able to save himself. He couldn't even able to heal himself. After fighting a while, Gorka stops and says, I want to introduce you to someone before killing you. And then he brings the vampire's friend here, who had now become a vampire. That's why he attacks the damper. He was in control of Gorka. But it is obvious that the vampire's blood was very powerful. As soon as he touched his friend, he was burned to death. When Gorka says, here, one friend killed the other. Commander and Anexa come behind him. Then Gorka leaves the dampier for a while and attacks them. He puts both of them with his powers. He said that now you will also see your friend dampier dying in front of your eyes. You will also witness how much he shouted. The dampier who had become unconscious, he has a dream, in which he sees those three women, who were with his mother when he was born. They tell the dampier that now you should meet your dad. And now as the dampier moved forward, his dad was standing in front of him which makes him not to lose his courage. He said that you should have faith in yourself, my son. Lord of the Night's blood is running in you. An enemy like Gorka can't hurt you. Hearing all this from his dad, the vampire's heart started beating loudly, with which the powers also come inside him. He hits Gorka hard, due to which the dampier was now getting heavy on him, while Gorka was starting to get weak. Gorka had also come into his real form after finding him so powerful, which was a terrible trauma and now both of them fell on each other. Their fierce fight ends. They were flying and attacking each other. And with his bloody hands, as soon as the dampier grabs Gorka's throat, he has just started burning. The dampier started using both his hands. He burns Gorka and kills him. And he turns into smoke and flies away. Now as soon as these three started going, a door opens in front of them. When they went inside, it was a very old room, in which the book of the vampire's dad was lying. Also, his dad's picture was also made there. Here they found out that he was not just one Gorka. In fact, there are many more like him. The Dampier says that there is no problem. Now I have become Gorka's enemy. So I will not leave any Gorka. After which he goes on his mission. To kill all Gorka and his companions. With this, the story of this film ends here.